new intro so much love and appreciation to those of you who have been with me for the two-year period plus that i've been doing this um thank you for showing your uh love and support to the channel and to anybody else who is brand new to the platform and you would like to support the channel also you can do it by way of patreon anchor the clothing store and also the shoe shop that is listed in the comment description below and again thank you to any and all of you guys who have been here to support this channel during the two plus year period i wouldn't be able to do what i do every single day without you all right so this is heather j brown's TikTok, and i will also have her gofundme just in case you want to show any type of love support and donate directly uh to the family so that they can get the money that they need to move out of uh the you know in a sense dangerous situation that they are in so that they can relocate to another house don't you put your hands on my son? Take your sister right now. Don't you ever, ever put your hands on my son. Actually, I will call the police and I will have you arrested for putting your hands on a minor. That's what I'm going to say. Good, good, good. Get out of my face, lady. And I don't even know you. Get the f*** out of my face. And you're going to jail because she just put her hands on my son. So I hope Okay, so here's an update. Um, Y'all believe. Up and it got deleted for community guidelines violation of minor safety or something like that but the update is she was um charged with a misdemeanor um assault on a child under 12. this video is from july 6th we went to court on july 30th she requested a public defender um and of course court was continued to august the 20th so we go back august 20th and hopefully um, she is prosecuted and she learns a lesson because when this video was taken, I didn't know it was being taken, but when the police officer came, I told him what happened and then he went to get her story and her story was that I attacked her. Of course, the police officer was starting to believe her at first based on just the way we look. Um, she's an older white lady and her whole tone changed. She wasn't talking crazy or outside of her neck. She was talking like, you know, a typical old white woman so i do know when i am mad i don't care who you are i'm gonna say what i gotta say i but um the police officer was believing her but then there was a lady at the pool she's the one that actually took the video i didn't know she was taking it but she took that video because there's been issues where people on the hoa pool committee because there's three women and she's one of them that single out children um who aren't white it just is what it is because this day she let two white boys in in front of my kids but told my kids they had to wait outside the gate so anyways i didn't give her the satisfaction of putting my hands on her like i wanted to i caught myself because in the video you see me step back and go actually i'm gonna call the police because i did what she would have done to me she would have played victim she would have had every fucking charge you can think of thrown at me if i had put my hands on her like she wanted me to and i'm just not gonna do that you ain't gonna take me away from my kids you ain't gonna fuck up my career and um you ain't gonna waste my money because i would have had to spend money to defend myself when in actuality you was in the fucking wrong so we go to court um ever since this video has been out and ever since charges have been pressed against her her and two other women on the HOA that we've had issues with um, have constantly harassed my landlord, sending emails, spreading lies about me and my children. I don't care if my children are the devils themselves. You don't have the right to put your hands on nobody, let alone a child. That's what I kept telling her. And I told her, I don't know where the fuck you from, but where I'm from, you put your hands on somebody, you better get ready to fight because, bitch, I'm going to knock you the fuck out. And just, she's lucky my kids were there, honestly. That is really what it boiled down to. She was lucky that I thought about my children and not, you know, me. I'm finally unblocked. So people were reporting my page and I was temporarily blocked from commenting, posting, whatever. First and foremost, thank you, thank you, thank you to all of the love and support that uh, you guys have shown to me and my kids. I appreciate it. Like, I truly appreciate it for real so i thank you 
to address some of the things no the lady was not arrested she was only served paperwork and had to show up at court so she was never arrested there's not a mugshot she didn't have to bail out um in fact i had to call the police department and say hey you guys have not served this lady and we have court on july 30th she needs to be served so i had to call them and have her served they did call me four or five hours later and told me that she had been served um so there's that but she was never arrested also in the video you hear her saying why is your fob not working several weeks prior to this video and this incident happening the phone line went down at the pool which messed up the scanner where you scan your key fob the hoa sent an email out they said that the fobs weren't working to call this number at this extension they even put a sign on the gate of the pool and it said if you have a bad key fob to call this number at this extension she's on the hoa she's fully aware of why the fobs were not working not to mention the day prior to this video my kids and i were all at the pool for several hours and then her and her husband showed up like and we were still there she knows we live here that i don't understand i truly don't understand what she was thinking or why she even chose to act like she was like the pool police or something like i, I don't understand she's on the hoa she knew why the fobs weren't working she was at the pool day the day prior to this happening when my kids and i were there uh, we live in the neighborhood. I saw a lot of people saying we were doing something we shouldn't be doing. No, we live here. We have every right to be at that pool just like anybody else. Um, and that I just, I've seen so many people trying to justify what the lady did. And there, there is no justifying it. She was 100% in the wrong, like, period. She was 100% wrong for what she was doing. But me trying to do the right thing has now put my living situation in jeopardy. And I've now got to come up with money fast, not only to get an attorney, but um, to find a new place to live with me for my kids. Because we just moved in here less than three months ago, and I used everything I had to move. And I now have to remove myself and my children from this environment before I catch a charge. And I can't be taken away from my kids, and I'm not going to let somebody do that. So I appreciate all the love, and I will definitely update you guys on the 20th. And this is what Heather had to state on her GoFundMe. Hello everyone, my name is Heather. A few of you may know of my family from a viral TikTok video. Quick backstory, I live in a predominantly white community. My kids were trying to enter the community pool and my 10 year old son was assaulted by a woman. This woman is a member of the HOA. Due to her actions against my son, she has been charged with assault on a minor under the age of 12. In our initial court appearance, she requested a continuation in order to obtain a lawyer. Unfortunately, we live in a world where people are based and judged and labeled based on the color of their skin and this is the sad fact that affects my blended family every single day that we have to suffer living in this environment shortly after the incident took place and the woman was charged the landlord where i live was contacted by several of the hoa members in an attempt to have my family kicked out of our home a home in which we attempted to live quietly and peacefully it is becoming more and more apparent that we are no longer safe in our home as we are still being inconspicuously harassed and stalked my kids can't even go outside and play in our own yard without an adult family member i am scared that someone or something is going to hurt them i'm afraid that if my kids don't have a witness it'll be mixed words against white words. I'm a stay-at-home mom and I've spent my entire life savings moving and attempting to give my kids a better life than I had. When the pandemic hit, I had a successful career doing what I love, which is helping people. I was a RMA. However, like so many others, I was laid off in January due to the pandemic, so I began cleaning homes and making shirts to keep my family fed and the bills paid. A mom's gotta do what a mom's gotta do. This career change has given me the opportunity to be with my kids during this pandemic to ensure that their schooling, mental and emotional states aren't being affected too much. I am asking for help to get my family out of this toxic environment ASAP and I also want to hire an attorney to seek justice for my family. Any contributions slash donations will be greatly appreciated. Thank you all for caring and standing by us. All our love, the Brown family. All right, I'm going to make this very short, sweet and simple. Um, at no point in time should anybody who is an adult put hands directly on a child, right? And for the most part, this was a Caucasian woman who was a part of the HOA who oversees and makes the rules and regulations for the housing or, or what not or whatever in that area. She decided that she was going to let two Caucasian kids come directly into the pool, right? 
and then she told the black kids that hey um you gotta wait outside you, you you just gotta stand out here while everybody else basically has fun and the mother she came in she basically was like no my kids are going to go directly in here because you know we live here right she pays rent and everything else they're going to be going directly into the pool and the mother sat up there and saw the fact that this woman decided to put hands on her child and she got directly in her face now at that point in time the mother had two choices she can decide to drag this woman or she can sit up there and call the police she went to sit up there and call the police right and i also say this is the reason that recording is very important because without that recording very easily this woman would have gotten away with going directly after uh this child so thanks to the 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 woman right who was also a part of the building that sat back and recorded and the reason why she was recording because it was stated by heather that they have had um you know a multitude of issues with this hoa person now and her with her discriminatory type of behavior right because it got to a certain point where heather stated that yo when the stories are being told the police started believing her because she started changing her attitude her voice and started doing the woe is me and all, all these other types of things and how i'm thinking about it is that at no point in time should that even be the case the police should not automatically just start siding with her because she wants to start to do the karen bit she wants to start crying she wants to woe is me and i'm only trying to do my job and all this other stuff like i said before those are cops that are on code those are cops that just want to do the bare minimum and still get paid full price that makes no sense and then on top of that heather had to go back and state to the police that hey you didn't serve her any of her papers because she had a court appearance that she was going to have to show up to or that she was supposed to show up to but guess what that wouldn't more than likely happen because she didn't get any type of papers which would then give her a type of excuse that would not be directly on her right and as she as which was stated directly in the article she showed up to the court appearance and then asked for a continuance there's no reason to ask for a continuance because you are a racist at the end of the day it's clearly what you are but the funny thing is that you are racist and you practice discrimination but yet you still put your hands directly on a black child that's a little bit odd to me why if you are this type of individual would you want to touch a black child i got questions but like i said before she was charged for um assault which is great but i think even more should basically happen so realistically i feel like she should get jail time 100 percent. i feel that she needs to sit there in jail and think about what it is that she did and you know if somebody you know directly in that jail happens to learn of the fact that this is exactly what she decides to do well you know that is exactly what it is but um you know like i said i'm gonna have her uh tiktok and her gofundme um listed um like i said the the, the kid didn't ask for any of this to take place the kid just wanted to come to the pool like everybody else and play but clearly that is not something that is um, a possibility because you have such racism that is out there. And this also shows that at the end of the day, um, you know, no matter, you know, how a child basically looks, as long as they have one drop of black directly in them, the main society will let that child know exactly who it is that they are and how it is that they decide to see them and how they will act towards them and brand them. And that is clearly the case. The police decided that they were going to, hey, let's side with the HOA owner. The HOA owner decided that, hey, let me enact my racism, my bigotry towards a 10 year old who doesn't even deserve it. But like I said before, this is America and this is clear cut the world that we are in. But these are supposed to be the people that are, quote unquote, the utmost tolerant. These are supposed to be the people that, you know, have loving and open arms for any and everybody. These are the people that say that, oh, they love the fact that America is a mixing pot. These are the exact same people that always say that, oh, I have black friends, black family members, mixed grandbabies, mixed grandkids. I've dated a black guy. I've dated a black woman. I'm married to a black guy. I'm married to a black woman. These are those exact same people. But anyways, let me know what you guys think about this video and everything that I listed in the comment description below. And as always, peace, love, and stay tuned for the next video.